Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am so excited to do this um, video for you guys. It is a unboxing of something that I literally have been wanting forever. Um, it is the new Lorac Mega Pro Palette 3. I was so excited when I got this as everybody know even I mean people have already reviewed it whatever um, it took me forever to get this because it is limited edition I literally had to go to another Ulta in um, actually the place where I grew up at I had a, they just opened it so I literally went there and asked because they did have it on display and they had none behind it so I literally asked if they had one in the back in the stock room and they did and it was the last one they had so I'm so excited and as you know it is a $59 value and it says limited edition right at the top right at the top and with Alta you know how you can get your um, your points your reward points and you can get like if you buy something you can get the price down and I actually have my receipt which I can tell you um, I paid the regular price was $59 and the exact price that I ended up paying was $38.50 so it took down $20.50 and then obviously with tax $232 for tax I ended up paying $40.81 $40 for this palette which I am so excited I had 600 points and I believe I used a hundred and forty seven and I'm left with a hundred something like that I don't understand all that but I'm so excited I paid forty dollars for this palette and it's limited edition and I've been wanting it forever yes I am ecstatic so with that I did use the palette one time for a look for work and let me tell you the colors blend very nicely and they are very pigmented and they are just gorgeous all the way around. So I'm going to open it. And this is what this looks like. It is white with that rose gold. Which a lot of people say that it's going to get dirty quick. But honestly I keep it. I keep the boxes. I put them right back in the boxes if I'm not using them again. So I mean I guess it's going to be a little bit dirty. But who cares it's makeup. It's going to get dirty. So this is what it looks like opening it. It has like the magnetic on it and I don't want to blind you they have a big mirror oh there goes that but here is all of the colors they are literally gorgeous gorgeous and I will go down and name the colors oh yeah you can put the mirror behind it so I'm gonna get like super up close and personal and show you the colors all right so we'll start from here this way this color is called pink cream and it is like a neutral pink this one is called tan pecan walnut dusty mauve uh, violet gray eggplant and dk navy so here are the top colors and i just hit jet black See, it's already getting dirty. Okay, so here is the second row. Jet black. Oh, focus. Bark. Maple. Hickory. Vintage. Mist. Toffee. And then crepe. So here is that row. And then the third row this right here it is all like the shimmer colors it is snow Ooh, kava cider bellany blani brown sugar so, well, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that it is s e q u o i a glacier and then deep fog so here is all those colors and then the last row is tool pink bronze rust rose quartz olive dk rose pomegranate and licorice yes so here is the bottom row and then here is the whole palette up close. 
Oh, these colors are literally everything. And it does say they are on the back of it. It says Go Pro with a Lorac Mega Pro Palette 3. This limited edition Pro Artsy palette is packed with 32, excuse me, 32 eyeshadows in all matte and shimmer shades. You need to create the hottest look straight from Hollywood. Lorac's velvety smooth shadows are also ultra pigmented with maximum payoff to perform wet or dry so you can shade shadow line and define your eyes just like a pro so like i said it is shimmer and matte eyeshadow you get 32 colors for a 59 dollar value but obviously if you have alta points you can use that towards it and i like i said i got it for um 43 40 dollars so this is literally literally like the best palette ever oh the TV just turned on and it scared me <laughs> mute it so like I said these are just gorgeous shades and I guess I'll swatch them for you I hate swatching because I feel like it just like wastes product but I guess I'll swatch it for you so if you want to see the swatches just stay tuned okay and now I am going to swatch the um, all the shades and I am going to start this way going down so yeah let's get it started so the first two are going to be pink cream and crepe and let's see you can't even see them there's pink cream at the top of my hope tattoo and then crepe is literally right here so those are those two and then the next two are going to be Snow and Tool, and they are the shimmer shades. And of course, the lighting is going to be crappy. So there's those two. And there is those shimmer shades. Let's focus. So there is the bottom two shimmer shades right there. And then the next line is going to be tan and toffee. These two look like. Tan and toffee. So here is tan and then here is toffee. Tan kind of looks very pink on me. And the toffee looks more orange. Ooh. Kava and pink bronze. Sorry about the light, it just won't focus. Ooh. Ooh. Um, Kava and then pink bronze. Those what those two colors look like. Row is going to be pecan and mist. Pecan and mist. Oh, get a chunk out. There are those two. This is like the most horrible swatches probably you'll ever see. Okay, so I changed. Oh, I'm going to move you a little bit. I changed places just a little bit trying to figure out this good lighting so let's proceed okay so the two swat or the yeah the two swatches that i just did off camera because i was trying to figure out the lighting was cider and rust and that is the color that they look like and they are the shimmers very pretty okay so the next row row is going to be walnut and vintage those are what the colors look like So the first one is walnut and the bottom one is vintage. It is like a brown color. The Balani or Balani, however you say it. And then the rose court. Look at that rose court. Oh, so pretty. And like I said, oh, these are so pretty. The shimmers. Oh, that's a mole. <laughs> There we go. Most awkward position ever. 
but that is that row. Mm. Need to be Dusty Mob and Hickory. Dusty Mob and Hickory. So those are really pretty colors. Dusty Mob, Hickory, Brown Sugar, and Olive. Brown Sugar and Olive. The olive greeny tint that violet gray maple Kirio, it's that S one, and then DK Rose. Plant and Bark. The eggplant is like really rich. And then Glacier and Pomegranate. Glacier and pomegranate. And then DK Navy Jack Black. These are like pretty much almost the same. And then the last two are Deep Fog and Licorice. I think I'm saying that wrong. It just looks weird. DK Licorice. So here are all the dark colors. And thanks guys. I hope everybody um, enjoyed this horribly swatched video of my new favorite palette. And I hope everybody has a good weekend because it is the weekend, thank goodness. And definitely give this a thumbs up if you like this video. Um, leave some comments in the section below of anything that you um, are um, curious about or just anything in general and definitely subscribe because that would like really help me out and yeah oh and another update I just registered for an ipsy bag to get ipsy every month definitely leave me in the comment section below if anybody is subscribed to ipsy and they like it or they dislike it or if it's really worth like you know the ten dollars I mean I already subscribe and I'm just waiting to get the I believe the November um, ipsy bag so yeah I'm pretty excited about that so if it works out I probably will have regularly videos of me doing unboxing of my ipsy bag so if you guys are interested in that um, definitely leave some comments in the section below of if you would like to see it or not but yeah, like I said, comment and subscribe and like definitely and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!